Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching The Haunting of Bly Manor Season 1, Episode 9. Sorry. Uh, this is called The Beast in the Jungle. This is the season finale. So, um, I watched Episode 7 and 8 around 4 o'clock this morning. And I decided I couldn't go to bed without uh, seeing how it ended. And um, plus, I decided I'm going to be getting up early tomorrow anyway. And so I thought I would squeeze this reaction in because I have a feeling that I'm going to cry. And um, I don't want to watch this before I do other reactions and people watching it wondering why my face is all blotchy and <laughs> and red and it look like I've been crying. So I figure I'll just get this one done, get it out of the way, go to bed, wake up refreshed and continue recording some more reactions. But... Um, I wanted to throw out some things that I hope happen, some things I hope I, that doesn't happen about the way they're going to end this season um, before I get into it. So, the one thing that I'm almost 100% sure of is Danny is going to die. She's dead. Gone. Which sucks. But... I'm hoping that with her death, somehow she's going to be able to save Miles. That's what I'm hoping. I don't know if that's going to happen, but that's that's where I'm hoping it will go at least. I mean, if Danny's going to die, I want something good to come out of it, you know? And um, and, and hopefully Peter will you know, continue his journey into hell where he belongs. Um, hopefully, maybe even hopefully they'll be able to release the other spirits so that they can leave and move on. Um, I mean, I don't know how they're going to do that or if that will even happen, but my, my, the thing that I really hope above everything else is that they're able to save Miles. That's what I'm hoping. Um... And I was also thinking, because, you know, I was editing and stuff, um, episode 7 and 8 earlier, and uh, I actually went back and watched the beginning part of episode 1. I, I'm talking, like, the very beginning with um, the the people there at the, wherever they are for, like, the wedding and everything, and then, you know, they started telling the story. And I'm trying to figure out who these people are, like who she is, the one that's telling the story. I don't know what her name is, um, but I was trying to see because she's telling their story, okay? So she has to have knowledge of it in some way. Like she had to have known, you know, what happened because she said that this happened to somebody that she knew. I'm guessing from... The only thing that I can think is, is Jamie. Okay. Yes, yeah, she's way older. Um, this is like, tw she's like set in like, the person telling the story set like 20 years or so in the future from where, you know, um, the rest of the story is taking place. I don't know if she would really be that old. I don't know how old she is in the 80s. So it may not be her. It seems kind of weird that it, that it would be her telling the story. I mean, why would she be in America? Um, cause they're in California and the other guy looked at her, the one who was giving the toast. He looked at her when she came out, like they knew each other. I almost think he's Owen, even though he doesn't really look like Owen anymore. But like I said, this is like two decades in the future almost. So I don't know. That's where I am kind of at right now. You know, with my thinking, I'm thinking that maybe the people at the beginning of the first episode are Owen and Jamie. That's where I am. Because it can't be any of the children, you know, um, because the children wouldn't be that old. They would be like, what, in their late 20s? Mid to late 20s, something like that. Um, or 30s. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's just where I was thinking. I, I watched it a couple times and I was just trying to see if there are any clues and that's, that's where I'm at. That's where I am. But like I said, I do 100% think that Danny's dead. And, um, 
So I have tissues. I'm prepared to cry. I don't want to cry because I hate crying. I get all gross. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll be okay. But I doubt it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you would like to follow me on Twitter or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, links are down below. Let's get into this episode. Get my tissues ready. I'm, I'm ready. How long is this? It's a little, not the longest episode of the series. Yeah, we have to see what happened with him. He was on his way here like two or three episodes ago. He's got to be showing up, right? My name is Hannah Gross. The year is 1987. Dominic is dead. Charlotte is dead. Rebecca and Peter are dead. I'm dead. I want to help them. But you can't? No. And why is that? I'm slipping away, Owen. I can feel it even now, and I don't want to slip away. I want to stay here with you. But you can't. I always think that I would very much like to spend the rest of my days with you. Listening to your dreadful puns, holding your hand, and I loved you, Owen. I should have told you. What a life we could have had. Oh, I mean, wouldn't it have been wonderful? Don't make this even sadder. You have to help me. I thought I was. Out there. You must help me out there. You must help all of us out there. In here, I'm you. This isn't me. This is just you. You have loved me. So I'll always be here. But you don't want me to be her. Nor the kids. If I leave, I don't know where I'll go after as I be brave in death, Hannah. One hand that you can we do both this. No, you're not so selfish to remain hidden in the memory. She not dead yet. I would think she had been dead by now. It didn't take Peter this long to die. Not that I want her to die. I really don't. If she lives by some miracle, I would be so happy, but she dead now. She's still alive. She's still alive. How is she alive? Oh my god. Run, Floor, run. We lay, my love, and I beneath the weeping wind. No, 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 no. She's singing that song, isn't she? Freedom, and you're letting it drown. Get out of the car. Go save your daughter if you can. I said, put her down. Oh shit. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Come and do something. 
I mean, I don't really care that he died. <laughs> I care less. Is that Owen? And Jamie? Oh, God. Oh, no, no. What are you doing here? But this is going to sound insane, but we both had an awful dream, and so we just drove and... The lake. They, they need you at the lake. Sweetheart, you won't feel it. Okay, I'll, I'll feel it for you. I'll just tuck you away one last time. Go ahead, love. You let me handle this part. Let me in. It's me. It's me. No, don't let her take Dance. over. tried to breathe life into Henry, who hovered between life and death. Soon, Flora would find herself dream-hopping endlessly at ply. And it would have all gone that way had not the au pair, in that critical moment, yeah. said what she said. Something she did not entirely understand, but something she felt in her bones. She had to try. It's, it's you! It's me! It's us! Changed, so she's possessed fully now by the lady. Do you feel that when he checks the well? Please tell Owen I'm sorry, tell him I love him, and the rest, well, it's just <laughs> so what did Danny do? She released the spirits? I'm so sorry, Miles. I'm sorry. The au pair invited Viola into herself. And the invitation had been accepted. In that instant, the spell that Viola had cast over Bly was broken. Flora! Uncle Henry! And all of the spirits trapped in her gravity were released. Uncle Henry! Miles! Okay. Oh. Where's Hannah? She's gone. The next day, Owen assisted five men from town where they gently lifted the housekeeper's body from the well. It was assumed she died accidentally, an unfortunate stumble. After the housekeeper's body was taken from the well, some in the village said that the cook rode with her all the way to the coroner, and there, he insisted on cleaning her himself, which he managed with a soft towel, soap scented with lavender, and the greatest of care. He stayed at her side until she was buried. And he loved her the whole way. I'm told, and I believe, that he loves her still. Your son? I don't know. Penny. She has a ghost in her. I feel her. In here. Part of her. Peaceful. It's quiet, but... It isn't peaceful, it's rage. And I have this feeling like I'm walking through this dense, overgrown jungle. And I can't really see anything except the path in front of me. But I know there's this angry, empty, lonely beast. It's watching me. She's waiting. At some point, he's going to take me. Or Danny. You will accompany 
Are you wait for your beast in the jungle? Do you want company? Will you visit us? Depends on where you're going. Uh, America, I think. Well, I can do that. Oh, thank you, Flora. Yeah, if it hadn't been for well, Flora, uh, good show, boss. she would have died. Take care. But be safe. I still feel like well, something sad is going to happen. I suppose I, I don't know how I will ever thank you. Just be good to the kids. Love them. Stop ignoring them. I'm so glad. You have each other now. I know. Well, I'm just so goddamn lucky, aren't I? And so are you, Miss Clayton. Where would we be, we wretched people, without the generosity of our betters? One day at a time is what we've got. That's why everybody's so got when you get down to. But it the sucks that she's the living months, her life. The monster more. You know, with this the dread. A year had passed. A trip around the sun. And she was still here. She was still her. That's good. Have something for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, the flower that only blooms yeah. once, right? Cinnamon flower? Yeah. I've got a problem. Or rather, we've got a problem, Poppins. I know. You see, I'm not sick of you mm. at all. I'm actually pretty in love with you, it turns out. <laughs> Is that the first time she said, One I love you? Became two. And from two, it spread into an endless time. So it seemed. Three, four, five years would pass. That's good, right? And there was peace. At long last, deep within the old pair's heart, there was peace. And that peace held for years, which is more than some of us ever get. Oh, God. What happened there, then? Found it on the street. I wanted to save it. Give it here, then. There's your problem. Your roots are can... You're my best friend. And I love my life. And I don't know how much time we have left. But however much it is, I want to spend it with you. And I know we can't technically get married, but I also don't really care. We can wear the rings and we'll know. Okay? And that's enough for me. If it's enough for you. I reckon that's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> 